All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Northern Lords Royal Court DLC Part 75. We are getting so close. We're three quarters of the way to 100 parts, which is definitely something we're going to reach in this gameplay because we are still pretty far away from the end of the game, which means we have more time for world domination. I did just wake up like five minutes ago, so if I sound a little different. <coughs> I apologize, but it should be more or less the same. So I've been trying to figure out what the next step is, and even like zones like this are only like three counties, four counties, right? Because everything is getting so... <clears throat> the counties are getting so large over here. This, this is actually not a lot of expansion, even if you took over this whole area. This would be like ten counties, right? So not a lot of expansion. Um, we will have to get there eventually. But, bang for your buck for each war, not huge. And we can just slowly vassalize this while our, you know, our vassals do that stuff. Estonia has down here for some reason. No, I don't know what that's all about. Yes, obviously we can do like one county areas. Uh, like this? Okay, why did, oh, religious exemption. Yeah, no. I don't think so. I was like, why can why are we not doing it then? Yeah, okay, go. Okay, so what I want to do next, actually, is finally, finally, finally make our move into entering Africa. If we do a great holy war, which we can still do with Einar, and it's letting me do it, so we have the qualifications for great holy war, we finally have enough faith other is Zaydis. Okay, whatever. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. They can't stop us. And this would get us into Africa. We can start moving our way down so we can conquer all of Africa on our way east. Africa's kind of been that thing that we just haven't been able to get our hands on. Because there's always been a decent force here. Which means our vassals aren't strong enough to take it over and they don't head that direction. So... I think that's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> Man, I'm sorry about my throat though. These won't vassalize either. Different faith, all that good stuff. Maybe one day we'll play like an intrigue ruler and we can start imprisoning rulers to convert them. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna do I'm gonna just gonna do it. I'm gonna go. Let's go. We'll also be getting these islands, which is nice. Let's declare war. The Great Holy War for Tabatahid. Fjolkir Einar has called for a great holy war to unite all true Asatruans under a single banner and lead them against the enemies of the faith. The time has finally come to consecrate the grounds of Tabatahid with the blood of the infidels and claim this land for the glory of Tyr. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Tyr is with us. I don't think this will be very fair. No, oh my god. 204,000 basically to 13,000. That is an insane holy war. Who, I want, who do I want my beneficiary to be? Uh, it's a good question. <clears throat> my grandson Einar is in a great relationship. He's got great stats. Seal Wolf? Uh, let's go with Einar. Let's have him be the uh, beneficiary. So many allies. <laughs> what is the numbers? We have 87 allies and they have 5. Let's go Norse. Absolutely taking over. Let's go Asatru. Okay, so. I forgot to check for how long until we were allowed to do these things. That's my bad. Now, crossing the ocean is going to be expensive, but it is what it is. So, I'm going to give it a sec to try to realize we're not at war with the Byzantines, and if this doesn't... You, no, you know what? No, no, no. Okay. Alright, Drake, we're going to find you. I already looked at our options, actually. <clears throat> Okay, 
What's happening? No, I, I already did this once. Hold up. I did this like two in-game days ago before I hit pause. What is happening? Uh, Drake. There you are. There was a... There was a 14-year-old girl that was like perfect for you. And now it's not an option. That is... Disappointing again. That's my bad. I shouldn't have hit play. Okay, hold up. We'll find somebody later. <clears throat> now, we learned last Great Holy War, don't let other people do the work for you. Do it yourself so that you get the credit and you get the kingdom. There we go. Much better. 150, 150. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so you can cross without needing to pay the boat. Okay. We're just <laughs> across this straight. <clears throat> it's gonna take some time for us to get gathered, unfortunately. Oh boy, look how slow the map is moving because there's just too many soldiers getting raised. This reminds me of late game Civilization, if you've played Civilization games before. Everything just slows down to a crawl. Okay, so we're gonna leave the game on play for a while because that's just gonna have to happen. Still no Mongolia yet. It's the best. <sighs> Alright, like I said, just woke up. I'm gonna stop the villain behind going after my nephew Sig Trigger. Yep. Another tiny faction that will get nowhere. Fourteenth of June. I really want to get more stewardship so I can keep that location, but I don't know if it'll happen. Walking between audiences, I overhear my devout court physician Bjorkit discussing your latest flight of fancy. Supposedly the strongest potion in existence. We've seen that. Yeah, yeah. Have they always moved their mouse like they're talking before? Is that a thing they've always done? No, that's not worth it. My food taster have a try first. Gotcha. Well, Einar? Five tyranny? No, that's his job. What are you talking about? Literally his job is to food taste. I'm gonna guess it didn't go well. <gasps> it went great! We actually got the strong potion buff! Okay. Very nice potion, court physician. Well done, well done. Which group has the mangonels? That's what I need to know. There it is. People are taking too long to gather. We need to hurry before everyone else gets the credit for this war. There you go. We'll have them go by boat. Twenty-four left on that. All right. So this is giving my first group out. We gotta hurry, we got 200,000 allies coming in. My kinswoman Anna has given birth to a daughter. A near perfect, pretty Amazonian genius, Irsa. Kraka. Flamula, what the hell? Saga. We could have another saga. Okay. 
Is anybody else here? Because if other people are here, I want to have the credit and not them. So if that's the case, let's go here instead. It's going to cost us over 500 men. No, I don't think anyone else is here. I think it's just us. Bastards. <laughs> we have too many allies. Too many. Okay, you guys go here. You guys, pause, pause, pause. You guys go here. Oh, damn it. They're, they're everywhere. We have too many allies. It's going to be really hard to get credit now. It's like a gold rush almost. You gotta get in there. Get in there. Boy, oh boy. Yikes. It is what it is, I guess. Ashes, ashes, rust to... Yeah, let that mace go. Water mills constructed in Ardara? Okay. Large stone quarries. Development growth on that one. Men at arms maintenance on that one. Nice. Oh, two north. Go south. Yo, what? Megan L's, you gonna go? Go for the capital. Royal court decreased. Huh? <laughs> We're expected 10 grandeur and we don't have it. We're gonna get there. It's on its way up. <clears throat> he ditched that. Interesting. Chivalric spouse. Plus two advantage. This character's spouse inspires the truce and reminds the realm with which things are worth fighting for. Good job, Saga. Let them lose that fight, <laughs> and then we'll win. We're so evil. This is what it is. Ah, oh, they'll win the fight on their own. They don't need us. Yeah, you stop and go back to that. Okay, Allied wins war. Great holy war. Yep, yep, yep. Shoot! Ah! <laughs> We're still first? Oh my god, I can't believe it. Duel's just given birth to a daughter. Oh, lover's pox. No. She got lover's pox. <sighs> Marked by blisters and infection, Agatha is afflicted by a venereal disease. That is a shame. We can't have that be spreading everywhere. Court Jester of the Sunday Roast. My jester, King Bernard of France, is known for his fr fantastically entertaining insults, and as it happens, he's standing face to face with my courtier schooled. I'm just in time to hear a particularly scathing roast. You loathsome queen and false witch, your sensitive soul and wickedness are legendary. You are Shiver, looking for a spine to run up, you Delilah. Bernard says is it possessed by Loki. She's craven. She's not. Skuld's face is red, but she knows that I'm watching, so she manages some pained laughter. She's not even a... What? Don't get upset. Skuld, you are most fair still. Mm, it's a good roast. You, you gotta get over this stuff. It's comedy. There's no lines in comedy. Okay. <clears throat> I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, though. Now we battle Adamite. This Christian sect that is trying to take control of the Asatra domain. Okay, okay. Good, good. Um, Chiefdom of Akatik was taken over by Jemba. You, Jemba's growing. All that, and it's 17 counties, but it's growing. Look how big that is for 17 counties. That's crazy.
Sutta. Wow, really? Are we still number one? We are. Though I can't imagine by much. We need to do something bigger, better, grander. Let's go ahead and go over there. Wow, nice to nice seek indulgences, everybody. Woo. Okay. These mangonels have got to get to work. There it is. Assault the fort. Seven days left. County of Paganesia now belongs to Croatia. Alright, Croatia. Good job, good job. We got the capital. Which is big. Mother and ten others. <laughs> Whoa. I'll take it we could. Nah. Idrisid statue? No. 332 to 812, okay. Alright, now go take that. No, go take this. There we go. 67%, all we can do is keep it up. It's not a battle against our opponents, it's actually a battle against our allies to make sure we contribute the most. That's crazy. That's how in control we are. Alright, let's hold court. I gesture for the three to approach. <laughs> King Bernard of France, hello. O munificent Filkir Einar, I am Gunduz, and I have traveled far to ask for your aid in writing a great injustice. The woman in front of me bows deeply before continuing with her well-rehearsed plea. My uncle High Chieftain Murad currently sits on the throne of Jemba. But I am the true and rightful ruler of those lands. Ooh! If you aid me in pressing my claim, I shall swear fealty to you and serve you loyally until the end of my days. Oh, nice! We can try to take over all of Jemba? Actually? Oh, he has a lot of high chieftains. That's not going to get us all of them, but... Wow. Ah. Move to stay at your court. Show gain ten opinions, show kindness. Can I help you, but please enjoy my hospitality. Commotion arises from the back of my court. Before anyone can grab him, a man rushes up to your throne, halting before you, but offering no deference. Wow. One look in his eyes tells us all I need to know. This man is not mentally sound. He is a lunatic, all right. Monster, you sent us to die. Why do you go unpunished? From this man's ranting, I've discerned that he had somehow been involved in one of my wars, which is probably why he's so distressed. What is to be done with this lost creature? Care for him? Gave me some piety? Single combat to the death. Oh, man. We have 38 out of our 70 prowess left. Have him executed? Throw him out. I'll see if you can get some help, dude. We look pious in front of the court. Mayor Orizone comes forward, proceeding with marked caution. Your grace, my city of Porto Torres grows rich by our burghers' dealings with the trading ships which ply the havens along Man in the Isles coast. That's a run-on sentence a little bit, that's alright. We have made our town and you prosperous and deserve greater influence over Locaduro. No. Commercial boom for 20 years, that's a lot of development. Earldom of Logaduro. I like the Earldom of Logaduro, but we can't control it either, so... I guess? You asked too much, there must be some other way. He gains 10 opinion and we get 10 development growth for 20% less holding taxes. Hmm... thing is, we can't hold Logaduro anyway for some ungodly reason, but I want to hold it for future rulers. That's really where I'm at right now, because Einar's stewardship is just not up to snuff. If we just had one more, one! Damn. <clears throat> we'll do the Mercantile Charter. And my business here is done. 
Yeah, we got a new statue, I know, but we don't need the statue. It's fine. Court Grandeur, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, two more months and we'll be back up to 10 Court Grandeur. Losing prestige every month from it being at Court Grandeur 9, that's funny. We'll be over 900 realm size after this. Let's go. Schemer discovered. It's Duke Joan of Alfaro that's plotting against my courtier wolf, Gifu. Ooh, Duke Joan, that abhorrent fiend. Look at these numbers. The Asatru people will not be stopped. That's for damn sure. Ooh! That's right. We have a legacy to make happen. Dynasty Legacy. Architected, architected Ancestry. Select a congenital trait to become more common in the dynasty. I know exactly what to choose. Oh, I, maybe I don't. Oh, Fecund. Originally, I was going to choose Giant. Others have to crane their necks and rein in their awes. Einar walks by. Fecund is good. Five life ex expectancy and fertility. But let's be honest. Giant is just so fun. <clears throat> it's a minor health penalty that we can offset with other things. Six prowess. I mean, what if we had a race of <laughs> hyper-intelligent, hyper-strong, hyper-beautiful giants running around? Come on! I know Fecund is probably the better choice, but for purely roleplay reasons, I hope you'll all forgive me as I choose giants. Thank you very much. Nice. We can get five more years that way, too. I don't know if we're going to take that or not. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. About to get another siege right here. Royal Court back to ten. Good. Lead to gold. The transmutation of lead to gold has long been the dream of alchemists across the world. Though many have attempted such a feat, nobody is known to have succeeded. Despite this, I have come across some notes written in the margins of a book about plants. They claim that one could create golden rain by boiling lead sugar in a filtered solution of seaweed. Could such a thing be possible? No? But I might get a perk, so, you know, here we are. The first reason I need to obtain is lead sugar, an ingredient used to sweeten wines. I could find a supplier to import what I need, though it would be expensive. Alternatively, I could cheaply manufacture my own by burning metallic lead and dissolving the ashes in vinegar. How can I learn if other people do all the work? Might get a moderate health penalty. Create the lead sugar without incident. We have 27 learning. We got this, right? Nice. It's another siege one. Good. Yeah, we're going to win that one. That's for sure. Prisoner died. Captured a mother. Who will ransom for eight? Sure. We are still first in contribution, and I would assume by a lot at this point. That's too many attackers to load. What am I doing? Oh, God. I, it froze for a second. I was, I was afraid it actually froze. Fourth is at 688. Just looking for a second. I wish you could order this. Because now we got to do all this. And of course it's going to be right at the bottom. Third is at 762. Second's at 1,000. And we're at 4,500. Oh, we're looking good. Yeah, we easily have this. Lead to gold. A second reagent I need to obtain is seaweed. A lot of seaweed. 100 drams. Shredded and then dried. Where can I get such a substantial amount? Imported from various coastal towns. Demand a seaweed tax for my subjects. I'll just use my lead to sweeten wines instead. We would get gold and prestige, but that would be the end of it. Oh, I'd love to pay prestige for something. Demand a seaweed tax for my subjects. That's such a weird thing. They're like, Einar, what are you doing? Hello? 
Fishing Net Weaver is in Byzantium. I can't believe, believe this place wasn't fully upgraded. What are y'all doing? Look at this place. Constantinople looks good as hell. Still paused. This war should be over in like 15 days here. <coughs> Large stone quarries in Ardara. That was fast. Alright, and then finally... Go with the pastoral lands, I think. The old favorite. There you go. And there you have it. Easily first in contribution. Gonna go ahead and end this war. Enforce demands. Asatru's fervor goes down 25. Theirs goes up 30. That's fair. Fair enough. That's the cost of a great holy war in the first place. Thank you, Old Asatru Heresies, for giving us that fervor. Enforce demands. Tyr has granted Filkir Einar victory in the Great Holy Wars for Maghreb. After defeating Galusa and his heathen warriors on several occasions, our warriors forced the enemies of faith to admit their ignominy as defeat. With the occupied lands firmly under the leadership of a pious Asatru ruler, we can rest assured that the divine will of Tyr has been enacted. This is a glorious day for all true followers of the Valknet. Here is with us. Yeah! And everybody here should be a Satru, right? Yes! Excellent! Yeah! <clears throat> Beautiful. And we have made our way into Africa at long last. It's been a long time coming we put our feet in Africa. And that brings our realm size over 900 to 911 realm size. A thousand is going to be coming up soon. Marrakesh. Who should we give Marrakesh to? Okay, this duchy has a few people in it. Countess Agatha? Agatha. There you go. She's worthy of it. Y'all go to Marrakesh. No, I'm going to give that over to, uh, what's her face? Not just Agatha. Where's my Duchy of, Mar of Marrakesh? There it is. Y'all go Marrakesh. There you go. Four vassals transferred. Go ahead. Y'all Agatha. 61 vassals again. Okay. That continues to climb, but that is how it works. Yeah, being one holding over is going to start killing us a little bit here. I just refuse to give over that land that we've been building up this whole time. This whole time. His, his stewardship is just so bad. It's 24 with her managing the main, giving her 10. Giving him 10. So, without Devotee of Thor and without the spouse's help, his stewardship is literally 12. 12. It's not good enough. We need to keep that in mind for... Our next ruler for sure. Wait. <gasps> I know what to get rid of. I can't believe I own something right here. What? Why do I have this? Hey, we're back under. Let's go. <laughs> That's huge. All right, perfect. All right. Drake, can you still not go to the Brangian Guard? No? Okay. We're, we're going to find you a marriage here. Hefreeder, here she is. Also, Judith is pretty good. She's pretty genius. Hail. Yeah. Okay, Hefreeder is beautiful, Amazonian, and genius. She's got great stat line. She's going to be diplomatic. Mastermind philosopher. He could use good learning boost. Yeah. With her helping, he should have good stats. Yeah. Absolutely. She's greedy, ambitious, and cynical, which, you know, isn't the most amazing person to be around, but not bad, not bad. 
Go for it. Send the proposal. For the faith. Lead to gold. At last, I have all the necessary reagents to produce the golden rain. The lead sugar is safely stored in waterproof casts. The cords of dried seaweed are stacked in the furnace ready to burn. Will this be my magnum opus? Imagine. Wealth and glory are yours? Which is not work expected, but what did you create instead? What am I doing? This is stupid. What? Why would you quit now? <laughs> this far in. 27 learning. Come on. Wealth and glory are yours. Your son Drake will be betrothed to my courtier Hafrider. After mixing the lead sugar into the solution, it suddenly turned a vibrant yellow. I had a moment of worry when the mixture began became clear after boiling, but once it cooled back down, I saw small golden-colored crystals form in my flask. Upon examination, I can tell these crystals are not true gold, as they are translucent. However, it is possible that this reaction is one of the fabled 12 vital processes needed to create gold. Am I one step closer to true transmutation? Damn! Let's go, Einar! 300 gold, 350 prestige, and a learning lifestyle perk. Atta boy. I love it. Well done, sir. Okay. I kind of want Know Thyself. That's so, that's so big. That's so big. If we can get Know Thyself so we know when we're going to pass, that is huge. And then we're probably going to learn leave the learning tree after we get Know Thyself. Alright, alright. What to do next? Diplomacy we're done with. We'll be done with learning, so I guess stewardship, yeah. Stop the villain behind trying to... Your gift... Oh, different one. Sister-in-law, not daughter. You know what I mean. Lines about legacy. Alignment for the Emperor. The mightiest men must leave this earth no matter what realms they have given birth and hope only for memory's grace that their history finds true place. I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thanks. Another poem, another day. <laughs> Man, our lands are sloppy. <laughs> Look at this land. Look who owns that. What a mess. What a mess. Damn, that minus one is brutal. And zero's not enough either. If we had rightful leech, this would be in the bag. But to do that, we would have to declare war on them. So, you know, easier said than done. But I suppose that can be what we do next. Looks like we took lads in at some point. Very nice. We'll keep expanding east. Our vassals will continue to work on that. Um, Croatia all over the place over here. I'm trying to form that kingdom, though. I like that. I don't think we have any big targets left. Oh, we have Tuat. We could go target that. It's only two counties. But it is the whole duchy in one fell swoop. So, I guess that'll be our next target. Wait a second, we have 20 new artifacts. What? What? That's so many court artifacts. Seal of Muhammad. Monthly piety plus 42% and 1.4. An eloquent reliquary containing a holy relic, Seal of Muhammad. Study ornamental coffin, Fagus, tapestry. Ooh. 0. 0.12 renown. That's almost as good as what we're using. Not quite, but almost. Sturdy goblet. Okay. Hide of the Feral Fox of Tbilisi. 0.14 Renown. That is better than what we have in the small slot. Right here. The Hide of the Black Hair. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. There you go. Hide of the Feral Fox of Tbilisi. That's huge. That's a huge hide. Okay. Excellent Tapestry, Intercede Tapestry, Monthly Renown plus 2%. 2% of 27. 
would be 0.54 a month. That's a huge amount of renown for a tapestry. What? <laughs> what? This Andalusian tapestry is getting replaced. Absolutely. Yo, these court artifacts. Hello. That is incredible. Fabled Fox of Banu. Idrisu Tapestry. No. Magnificent Tapestry. No. Idrisu Table. No. Skull the Feral Stag of Kadam. Idrisu Ornamental Coffret. Baranus Art of Strategy. Ooh. If we ever do Martial Lifestyle Experience, that's the one right there. Baranus Table. Sturdy Statue. Baranus Medical Manuscript. Small Health Boost. Baranus Art of Strategy again. Two of them. Amir Al Umara Intrigue Lifestyle Experience. It's called the Mighty of Byzantium Manicure. Okay, we're back to to the top. We have two new items in our two new court artifacts we actually use though. Hide of the Fair Fox of Tbilisi and the Indrasid Tapestry, which bumped us up like a full over half of a renown a month. This thing's crazy. Absolutely, that's staying up for a long time. Okay, so how long until we can gather? About four months. All right. Yeah, you can ransom. Scheme at court. Someone after Wolf Gifu again. Yo, we have way too many <laughs> schemes at court, but I guess when you have this much land covered, it had to happen within your domain, huh? The Cadet Branch Af Al Arlborg. Alright, looks like we still got another 15-20 minutes. Nice. Which means we have more time to be a little productive. I wish that they would make a kingdom, but they can't? They can make this, right? Four counties? They have four counties in there, I'm sure. They don't! Oh my god, they can't make a kingdom because they're so spread out. 50 for him? Yeah. Go ahead. Look at Jemba go, though. All that, and they can't make a kingdom. You see an empire, dude. You're in trouble. This empire is falling apart. It's falling apart. Prisoner Radomir has died in my dungeon. Sorry, man. Sucks to suck. We have 40 prisoners I'm gonna have to deal with later. Yikes. Oh, it's November. Oh my god, time is moving so fast right now. My bad. I was used to it moving slower like before. Okay, Tuat. Let's declare war for the duchy. And let's raise the men-at-arms. Professional army is all we're going to need for this one. Pastures and Ardara. Let's go for homesteads. Everything else is fully upgraded, though. Nope, Algiro needs uh, new barns and storehouses. Look at all these places that still need upgrading. Why are we not getting notified about this? Or am I just missing them? Carpenter's Guild, nice. Development growth. I guess because these aren't technically ours and they have a holder. Is what's going on with that. And we're upgrading it for somebody else, almost. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess that's what's happening. Because Reeve Edric holds this. That must be what's happening. But it gives development growth, so I want it developing better. Alright, in one month we'll be able to join them, all the men-at-arms together and just run over this country. Look at the space between counties here. That's so much time for movement. And there we have it, 1097 AD. The fine battle axe, goodbye. A 6,500-man professional army. <laughs> wow, let's go. That's so much power. That is so much power. There we have it. King Harawild is fighting in this army with 38 prowess, so maybe we don't prevent him from fighting. We'll have us do it. Let's go, Einar. Light him up.
a little fun war here. Oh, the Canarius, okay. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, we can get Tad Mecca after this, too. Another complete duchy. And then Kaka. Oh my god. We're gonna be able to go so far off of just complete duchy captures. What was I doing, though? I'm so... I don't remember what I was doing. My brain is spacing out. I feel like there was something I was supposed to be doing. Oh! I wanted to check innovations. Banking. Six years because of 75% chance of progress. Okay. Yeah, we did not do great on the uh, innovations while Einar was our ruler here, but we'll at least make progress. Seven years on the arch saddle. Okay. And six years on banking. After banking, we need to figure out what we're going to do. Guilds wouldn't suck. We do like plus one domain limit, but I kind of want to do urbanization for the development. Then again, not many counties are at the point where they need urbanization, you know what I mean? But maybe if we go urbanization now, we won't have to worry about development again for a very, very long time. Which is fair. Windmills would give us... But then all these buildings we could be making. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to raise the development cap for a while. Fleur, we must stop the villain behind this. And it's it seems like it's a soft cap, not a hard cap, to be fair. Okay, restraint. One more perk of learning. And then we'll have Know Thyself and we can move on to something else. Einar's still in fine health. Yeah, he is. Once he goes down to poor, obviously, we're going to have to start looking at elections and all that. Betrothed can marry. Drake and Hafrider. Send a proposal. Your son Drake and my acquaintance Hafrider will be joined in holy matrimony. May they find strength and support in their union. Excellent. Chris, Ryan, and Toblood are still so young. Ryan, just making sure guardians are fine. You know how it is. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Whew. That is <laughs> a long time to arrive. Influences religious conversion. Duchess Richgard converted to a Satru. She wasn't a Satru already, huh? Learning skill led to this wind windfall. Thank you, spouse. All right, Saga. Well done. Faction targeting is disbanded. Good. This is all just counties, right? Oh, no. This is... Two Orthodox people that we could convert. There you are, and there you are. 82% should work on paper. Okay, this guy here is probably not a Satru. Nope. So we'll send him a gift. It will demand his conversion. 96%. I like our odds. Good. 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 And you, who's orthodox and stupid. <laughs> he's he's slow and spindly. This guy's a mess. But a Satru nonetheless, I, I would hope. Counselor Danila died of cancer. Really? Wow. That's crazy. Ryan's more likely to get a good education due to Empress Saga's tutelage. Definitely not Poland. Probably Ethelthrith. Oh yeah. Ethelthrith looks great. Ethelthrith it is. There you are. <clears throat> Very good. Blessed be Odin. Blessed be Odin. Blessed be Odin. Blessed be Odin. Good, all four worked. Homesteads go to Ardara. Now we have Meadows.
Thank you for the indulgences, everybody. Faction created. The Za something. Baroness Zaidi? Oh, nah, it's whatever. Yeah, so, I mean, if the hooks are expiring soon, there's nothing I can do about that. Thank you. Liberty faction went away. Information brokering. Countess Asta has approached me. Uh, no. I don't give weak hooks. Sorry. Not happening. If your son Toblood could visit my court in Linz to be his peers, I'm inviting everyone out, which unfortunately includes him. Well, that sounds like we're an eager reveler, so this is what our character would do. But we have no stress, so I must decline. If you're not going to appreciate him being there, I'm not going to put him in harm's way. I've lost people that way. Trade port in Byzantium. And now a shipwright. Well, shipwrights. You know what I'm saying. Here we go. This is a whole lot of nothing in this area. Damn. Bavarian Catholic populists. Make sure that's not a person. Nope. Okay. Alright, this will fall. If we get their leader, then it's over. We got it. That's a war. So be it. Disband. So the Duchy of Duat. Give it to someone who deserves it here. Someone who holds no land. Uh, that's right, they have this flag thing if they own land. Who does not own land yet and has high skills? Well, not Drake. Elfmir? Of the Kassid? And he's Ravenheart! Herculean? Alright. Sir, welcome to Africa. There you have it. Okay. Now we get ready for the next war. Which we can do right away. Wow. Really? Oh my god. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. And so that's two duchies back to back, so we might just declare war on both of them, honestly. Yeah, let's do it. Zab, what? Oh, they have land up there too, got it. No, I want this whole duchy right here. So I can make it down to Kaka. I don't think I can declare war on them actually, because yeah, we don't have a cast a spell eye. Just kidding. That's almost a whole duchy up there. Okay. Alright, raise all men at arms and send them that away. Oh, send them that away. There you go. That'll be another quick war. Your old folky could created the cadet branch, Ulfus. We have 48 houses for 1,445 living members. Somebody died while I was reading that. Drake, open up, my pet. It is I, Hafrider. That's the wrong Hafrider. No, 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 no. A woman has climbed up to Drake's window. Would you just call my son, you trollop? Made adulterous advances. No, 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 no. I can imprison you for that, I'm pretty sure. No, I can't. Just kidding. You better not mess with Drake and our lineage. Drake, you better not put your dick in crazy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Resist. Neighboring ruler. In the Liberty War. It's a Liberty War. Those don't change land at all. My spouse is coming with grave news. It is Count Millislav of Pitten that is plotting against my courtier, Bjorkid. Damn, the vile fiend. The thing, the fact that I can't actually, like, arrest them and stop them is... Jesus. Oh, oh! Queen Bjorkid's court now speaks Norse. Valencia now speaks Norse. I can't believe it didn't already, but let's go! <gasps> 
What? Your steward's excellent stewardship skill led to this windfall. 1,080 gold in additional taxes. Oh my god. 1,080 gold in additional taxes. That's insane. That is actually... Declaration of Love. As I push aside the sheets to lay down, I find a little scroll resting on my bolster. What? Uh, my winsome star, lord of my heart, I can keep my feelings secret no longer. From this day on, I will do everything in my power to prove my loyal affections. We will see each other soon. Until then, dream of me, my love. Eternally yours, Agatha. She'll attempt to win my heart? That's adultery. Well, I I'm married. Nope. Abandoned. Sorry. Thank you, but I'm sorry. I can't, like, tell Drake not to do it and then do it myself. Meadows constructed in Ardara. Coops. 2% development for Coops. I bring you rich gifts worthy of your majesty as a token of my goodwill and servitude. Show Duke Gabriel in at once. Absolutely. I accept your generous gifts. Thank you. All right. When we have the professional army raised, we have basically an exact match between our income and expenses. Almost zero flat, which is not bad. My spy, my, my spy master has come to me with grave news. While we do not yet know who, someone is plotting against my courtier Bjorkith. Bjorkith, what did you do? What did you do? You've got everybody on your ass. You only have one rival. What did you do that made so many people want to target you? Side of my dynasty. My niece Ithild has given birth to a daughter. So my granddaughter. Oh, she's inbred. Damn. My son Seal Wolf gave birth to an inbred but otherwise perfect statted person. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Which counteracts genius entirely and makes them have a severe health penalty. Fertility is basically zero. Wolfkiss family has been a bit too familiar. I'm sorry, I know it's true. I can't even, I don't even have an argument. We almost need to have a name for inbred people, but no. A Sif. That's a good name. Well, Sif, we'll see how that goes. Stone of Glass. As I struggle to make out the tiny letters on the scroll before me, I feel a headache building once again. Why do scribes insist on writing with such small symbols? Oh, yeah, the glasses thing. She gets a weak hook? No. I need one of those stones. 300 gold, yes. Sell everything which is impossible to read. Give me one of those stones. There we go. Fornicator. Not adulterer, but fornicator. Okay. That doesn't bother me at all. The council. We lost our spy master, Counselor Bjorkith. Was she killed or did she die of old age? She died of old age. Okay. There goes all those plots. <laughs> okay. Powerful vassals, Poland and Ruthenia. Neither of which are great, but Orkner's okay. Could have 26, 23. But having a powerful vassal with 19 is not bad at all. I'll take, I'll let Ordger have it. Go ahead. King Ordger, my man. Queen Saga, Queen Ethelthrith II. King Bernard, King Ildwin, and King Ordger. I can't believe our, <laughs> our Chancellor is also our Jester. That probably works against him sometimes, but it is what it is. It is what it is. About to be 1098 AD, and after we win this war, I think it's going to be time for us to call this one an episode. We've made good progress. Another great holy war. We don't get to have those very often, and we have cut deep. And I mean deep into Africa. We're almost to the main chunk, which I would consider this the main chunk. Uh, there's two, really. Here and here. But this is the biggest one. Neighboring ruler lost war, chiefdom of Novasil. Hey, our vassal grabbed it. Atta boys, everybody. Keep doing it. Keep up the good work. Uh, 
snake at court. That he'll open up my sweetness. We just call you libidinist. Got a granddaughter. Nice. All right, let's go wrap this up. 1098 AD, only two year. Vassalized Jarl Edward of Riazon? Really? This whole thing right here? He is manic. Okay. Offer vassalage, yeah. Welcome to Man in the Isles. Look at that. And I accept your gracious offer of vassalization, my liege. Excellent. Boom. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna continue to spread east like almost passively. So we can start focusing on Africa a little more for now. Staring at stars. From all my evenings watching stars, I've seen with my own eyes what I've only heard of before. Yeah, I've seen this one. Find my answers in the heavens. 50 learning lifestyle. Insight in the heavens. Lose stress because we're zealous. Okay, I should focus on earthly matters. You're right, you're right. This is what our character would do. Go ahead. Come on. Coop in Ardara. Ardara's not gonna have much stuff left to build soon. And actually now. <laughs> actually right now. Okay. This has two more months on it. Kala has died in my dungeons. Yep. So, let me see here. Let's go to Rome. Concentric Castle would provide more upgrades. We need the Hoardings Innovation. Which is something we could grab soon. And once we have the Hoardings Innovation... And Windmills, we can start doing more stuff like this. Yeah, we just need to... We need to get the Building Innovations after Banking is done. And we get that 10% development. I think that's just the right call. Come on, come and stop us. I want to see this making a killing battle. Come on, come for it. My wife Empress Saga is with child, and I should be overjoyed. However, she's been acting strange. Saga? Hard to believe she would ever betray me like this, but could it be I'm not the father? She must tell me. I will look into this discreetly. 90% against her? I like that. Those are good odds. Well, Jiro has barns and storehouses. Farmsteads. There you go. Listen, you must understand, I never want to hurt you. Duke Edwin is the true father of my child. Oh my god. Everyone will know. Everyone. Yeah, I mean, this isn't what our character would do anyway. You... <sighs> ah. My vassal Jarl, Leofwin, that is playing against my courtier, Bjorkin. Brooding feet. Okay, a different Bjork gifts, I got confused earlier. Imprison Criminals, Empress Saga, 58%. Slept with my spouse. I gotta imprison this guy, right? No way I let him get away with that. He'll rise up in rebellion? Four counties, the Aldom of Holland? I say we go for it. Can't just do that. Justice. As per my orders, Duke Edwin is now going to be confined to his home. I posted some of my guards to ensure he's compliant with the house arrest. Good. Lose 150 stress because you're vengeful. Oh my god. Oh my god. We can do almost anything and lose all our stress, basically. <laughs> Woo -wee. Okay, we'll hold on to that option. <laughs> wow. Had that coming, didn't he? But here we are. Here's the big battle to get us our 50% battle one score, and then the war is over. Let's go. Wipe him out. Boom. Never stood a chance. 
Dan died in our dungeons, and we captured this guy. Sure, go ahead. And that's a war. And we continue to expand. You are going to be uh, a soft group, just letting you know. Ahead of time, like, you know. At least you better. I know I said after the war, but let me see if we, this guy turns to Sasha first. We can give him the rest of the land, or not. Age of the world. I've been studying the ancient religious texts and the writings of scholars, and they all seem to agree that the world will end 6,000 years after its creation. Give the others and avoid panic. A reasonable point. Consult more with the Godar. I like how the learning lifestyle has all these interesting events. I do want to get to religious icons so we have more scholarship for scholarly circles for getting innovations. Alright. And we're going to have the learning lifestyle soon, so that works. Yes! Blessed be Odin! Atta boy! That's what we're talking about. Counselor Ildwin died. Whew. We're losing them left and right. Poland and Bulgaria. Both have 18 stewardship. When we have Edwild, Edhild that can do 31? I don't think so. Sorry. But no. She has no land either. Oh, wow. Edhild. You need land. Alright. So, this is where we're going to go ahead and leave off. Very productive episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much. For joining myself, Einar, the Cheating Saga, the Four Horsemen, <laughs> and the rest of the Ravenheart Dynasty on this journey. And I will see all of you for more of all this goodness next time.